Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Isn't Jesus wonderful? Isn't the Holy Ghost so honorable? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. Praise God. Father, we are very grateful this, this day. We appreciate you. Holy Spirit, we appreciate you. Lord Jesus, we appreciate you. The things that you have done throughout this week, it's awesome. It's beyond the mind can imagine. This morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you all the praise and glory and honor and majesty in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And everybody said amen. amen. I just want to welcome, you know, those at home in Africa, in Asia, in the UK, Europe, the United States. Every one of you, you're welcome here. You're welcome right now. You are welcome today. And I believe that God is going to do something special in your life today. Hallelujah. Because we have something that is from the word of God. And if we connect with it, we will see and experience for ourselves the manifestation of God's power in our lives. And God will touch us in a special way. I really do believe that this morning. Hallelujah. God has something for you this morning praise God let me do this quickly with you uh, as I was standing there you know the Lord said there is an anointing to restore marriages and I just want to release that anointing right now today and the Spirit of God directed me exactly how to do it. Chantel, together with your husband, can you come over here? Both of you, can you come over here? Glory to God. Just stand here in front of me. God told me to take you as a nucleus today. Here is what he told me. I have a special assignment for both of you. When the season breaks forth, that assignment will come into full view. And you will know at the right time what assignment I have bestowed on you to do for me. Can you hold your hands together? Both, both your hands together, that way. Just put them on here, that way. Father, catapult them into the next level. There is something you want to do through them. Let it come to pass in the name of Jesus. May the supernatural power of God flow through them in Jesus' name. May you begin to use them in accordance with that assignment in the right due season in Jesus' name. Many shall be restored through them and the grace that you are dropping on their life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would like you I would like you to just turn, face the audience and the camera there. Stretch forth your hands. We are going to release the anointing of God. Father God, through this nucleus as a point of contact and as a wrap. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we release the anointing of God right now for marriages to be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Satan, right now your assignment on those marriages, your assignment on those people, right now is canceled. Forthwith, with immediate effect. And you shall have no legal ground again. 
We declare now sevenfold restoration, sevenfold restoration, sevenfold restoration, sevenfold restoration, sevenfold restoration, sevenfold restoration, and sevenfold restitution in the name of Jesus on those marriages. Let the anointing flow now. Let the anointing flow now. Let the anointing flow now. And Father, we thank you for those testimonies and the miracles you will do in restoring those marriages that were said were hopeless. But it shall be seen that you are God and there is nothing impossible with you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Bless you. You may be seated. God bless you. Hallelujah. Can you say amen? amen. In the audience here, via television, multiple platforms. Look at me now. There are people who have given themselves and sacrificed themselves to the devil to become his agents to execute wickedness. And this morning, Right here, via television, wherever you are, I'm here to announce there's a group of people who are giving themselves as sacrifices completely to the Holy Ghost. And because of those circumstances, those sacrifices, we are going to run around destroying the works of the devil we are going to run around under the anointing under the power of the Holy Ghost and we are going to we are going to plunder hell we are going to give the dark kingdom sleepless nights oh in the name of Jesus we are rising under the anointing of the Holy Ghost all over America all over Asia all over the UK all over Africa in South Africa from East London we are going to move we are going to flow we are going to operate in the dimensions of the Holy Ghost so profound that the devil shall be disgraced the devil shall be humiliated in Jesus name can you say amen, amen. if people can give themselves to the devil we can give ourselves to the Holy Ghost amen. to be completely possessed by the Holy Ghost and we will walk in the spirit there we will walk in the spirit we will hear and listen to the voice of the Holy Ghost and wherever we find the devil wherever we find him we will destroy him are you listening to me can we read in John chapter 5 I just want to lay a foundation right now for you John chapter 5 glory to his name say to the person next to you even at home look at me very well I don't take any nonsense from the devil can you say amen John chapter 5 I just want to read read there and then we'll take it from there in this time that I have now after this there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda having five porches in these lay a great multitude of important folk of blind halt withered waiting for the moving of the water everybody say moving of the water 
so which means there is movement of the water right praise God just stay with me for a for a moment for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water who whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole whatsoever disease he had and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years verse 6 when Jesus saw him lie there and knew that he had been now a long time in that case everybody say that case one more time that case the Bible says he was a long time in that case and Jesus saw that and knew that he said unto him will you be made whole the impotent man answered him sir I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool but while I'm coming another steppeth down before me Jesus said to him rise take up your bed and walk hallelujah you know what I'm gonna stop right here there are people here who have applied for for promotions at work there are people here who have applied for promotions at work I want to release the favor of God upon you this favor is the one that made that woman to be picked by the king to be his wife when all the women in the in, 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 in the land paraded before the king the favor of God dropped on that one on Esther and when it dropped on Esther the king said this is my wife right now the divine favor of God is going to fall on you I don't care how others that are you that you are supposed to go to 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 the interview with they may be more educated than you they may have more degrees than you but right now when you go into that interview you are going in there with the favor of God on your life and when you go in there with the favor of God on your life you shall be picked you shall be number one choice I know my God even at home you may be there all I want you to do right where you are I'm releasing that divine favor right now that anointing is here now and we've got to do it now are you hearing what I'm saying if you are here in the audience please stand right where you are you don't have to come here stand where you are and I'm also going to to, to pray with with those via television if you are here in the name of the Lord Jesus Holy Spirit I have obeyed you you said when we obey you we shall eat the good of the land in the name of the Lord Jesus right now here are your people they are standing all over the auditorium they have applied for promotions in their different places of employment and I know as you have told me as I'm standing there reading the scripture that right now the anointing for favor is upon is upon uh, is upon us is here right now in the name of Jesus I release that favor in the name of Jesus I release that favor to drop upon each one of them the way it dropped upon Esther in the name of the Lord Jesus may you go to the interview with the favor of God heavy on you via television wherever you are may you go to that interview with the favor of God heavy on you in the mighty name of Jesus and may God provide you with your desire in Jesus name Amen I am telling you if you make the connection today the power of God is here if you make the connection today there's going to be an explosion of God's power here for you personally for you to experience that the Bible says I'm in verse I'm in verse 8 Jesus saith unto him rise take up your bed and walk the Bible says in verse 9 and immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was the Sabbath
Oh, glory, 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 glory. There is a divine stir. There is a supernatural stir of God's power. Okay, Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. When Samson was being ridiculed after they gorged his eyes and they were celebrating, laughing because he terrorized them, gave them sleepless nights and now weak as he was, they were celebrating, they were doing all that. But they did not realize in their celebration that two things were happening. The first thing that was happening, the heart of Samson was turning back to God. The heart of Samson was turning back to God. And once that heart was turned back to God and now it is rightly positioned before God. The second thing that was happening, they did not realize the hair was growing back. They didn't realize the anointing was going back. I am telling you, the anointing is growing back. I am telling you, the hair is growing back on the body of Christ because the heart of the children of God is being directed back to God. We are removing our hearts on other things. We are taking our heart back to God. And as we are doing this, the anointing is growing back. The Bible says, as they were celebrating, celebrating, Samson moved strategically to the pillars because now the hair was back. The seven locks of the Nazarite anointing was back on his head. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says he pushed those pillars and he destroyed more Philistines that time than the time before. And the Bible says he died with them. As I was seated here, the Holy Spirit said, this time the seven locks of the Nazarite anointing that is growing on the church, when they begin to move in that anointing, they are not going to die with people. But when they move in that anointing, they will be alive to see through. Hey, come on now. Connect, connect. I'm not going to say have faith. Aye, 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 aye. Because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Right now, the word of God is breathing faith in you. It's 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 breathing faith in you. Faith in you. All I want you to do, just connect. Just say to the person next to you, connect. Connect with your faith. Connect with your faith. There's going to be an explosion. An explosion. When you take a box of matches and you take a matchstick and you rub them together, there is an explosion of fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost is here right now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is here right now. I said the fire of the Holy Ghost is here right now. At home, wherever you are, the fire of God is here. Just connect. Just connect. Glory to God.
The Bible says, let me finish with this. Anyone that jumped into the pool got healed. But this one, every time he went to go into the pool, this is what happened. Somebody would jump in there. I'm finishing up with this. You will never be number two again. I said you will never be number two again. There will be no one that is going to jump before you into the power. There is no one that's going to do that. I declare you number one into the power of God. I declare you number one into the power of God. I declare you number one into the anointing of God. In Jesus' name. You are number one. I said you are number one. Connect with your faith. You are number one. Arise. Connect with your faith. Arise. Connect with your faith. You are number one.